So this is the box for the new Roto Drum from Italy. And the box is huge. And this is the three-headed snare drum. So inside the box we have well, it looks like we have a okay, so they're using the box to kind of cushion the snare drum. Another box to cushion the snare drum there. Oh, I put it in a bag. There it is. Roto drum in the bag. It's a nice bag. Inside the box also they've included a Roto drum retail price list uh, effective January of this year through June. Puppy, Let's see what's in here. Wow. Okay. Oh, so they've got a wristband. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And the quarter inch trigger. And there's a belt here. And this is in a copper metal finish. This is, oh, this is one of the modules here. So this is the top module. That's sharp. So for now we'll take that portion and lay that there. And we'll work with this part. That's a beautiful shell. Now back to the bag. Ah, so they included the balls that are in the, the video so that you can see what kind of extra sort of sound effects you can make acoustically with this drum. This is module two, and this is the part of the drum that has jingles all the way around. Really well done. This is in a slightly different finish. It's got a texture to it, which is pretty sharp. And then all these pieces are actually milled by hand. Um, aluminum pieces. So it keeps the drum pretty lightweight. And the rings, too, are also aluminum. Back to the bag. There's another piece the back. This is the bottom snare portion. Cool attention to detail. Like it's laser cut. And it looks like a standard set of snare strands on the bottom. And this is the other side of the strainer system. Fully adjustable on this side as this side is just the throw off. So you adjust from the opposite side. It has nice texture there to be able to grab. Also looks like it's made rather well. On the inside pocket of the bag. Looks like they've supplied me with uh, brochures there as well as the uh, two metal track pieces. So here we go. We're going to take the first bottom portion of the snare drum, put it on the snare stand, like so. Now we're going to loosen the wing nuts and place the track pieces inside there. I'll go ahead and raise that up to the top. It's a little bit coming down there still. Now I'm going to place the top batter side part of the shell on top of the snare side bottom shell. 
as you can see what I've done here is I've created a 14 by four and a half basically uh, snare drum and I've lowered the track so that the track is downwards so that it's not in the way of playing the drum so right there is just the basically a vented 4x14 four So now I basically have uh, opened the drum. There's approximately two and a half inches in between the top and bottom shell. So now I basically have a 14 by or 6 by 14. Now I've opened the drum with about six inches in between the top and bottom shell. So it's basically a 10 by 14 at this point. Now I have added the tambourine jingle part, portion of the drum. So now we have three heads. We have a snare side, striking batter and a regular Remo Ambassador clear on this one. Now let's bring up the wires a little bit. Here's a view from the side. There's a lot of metal, but it's actually lightweight because a lot of it's aluminum. These are some color samples of finishes that they can do on the metal. As you can see, there's a blue, and even the tension rods have the logo. The quality of the way these are machined is so smooth and solid. There is no movement. I can just simply spin them on the tension rod. All, all the pieces are aluminum. Check out Rotodrum at rotodrum.com. Ricardo Martinazzi is the person that you want to get in touch with and you can reach him via email. They included catalogs with this drum so I'm just real quick going to show you that again the drum can be converted into an electronic pad as well just by placing the foam back in the shell and adding this pickup towards the edge of the drum. Many com kit configurations the kick drums, toms, and snares all slide and have endless possibilities. That's why I pursued this company because I uh, thought it was revolutionary. Years ago I had tried doing an adjustable kick drum because I wanted a big fat sound at times and other times I wanted to set up in a corner and maybe play jazz or bebop, that kind of thing. So I think um, a kit like this would actually help greatly. Can't wait to try it live and in the studio. Again, it's Rotodrum.